know, when we created the digital marketing category, our goal was to address the needs of the C-level executive that was most responsible for digital, typically the CMO. But delivering on this promise of CXM in this new world of software as a service or SaaS, we think that there's far more collaboration that needs to happen between the entire C-suite and especially between the CMO and the CIO. Adobe certainly saw the benefits of it when Ann Lunas, our CMO, and Cynthia Stoddard, our CIO, partnered to re-architect and reimagine the entire IT and marketing function. And we believe that this needs to be a mandate for all companies. All next generation IT leaders, including Cynthia, and Atticus Tyson, who is the CIO of Intuit, need to drive this fundamental software transformation to create this customer intimacy. And Atticus has done this brilliantly at Intuit, a company that's so clearly been recognized for its successful shift to digital and focus on the customer. So here to share a little bit more on the CIO perspective are Cynthia and Atticus. Please welcome them to the stage. Thank you, Atticus, for joining us here. Shantanu provided an overview of our data strategy, DDOM. You and I have commiserated <laughs> about our data challenges, and we've shared best practices over the years. So given our strategic role with data, I'm going to share a little bit about my CIO perspective on DDOM. And then I want to hear from you. Adobe's transformation to the cloud enabled us to harness big data at scale. However, our data strategy had not evolved. We were spending time wrangling and managing data from various data silos. Business performance reporting was fragmented across various groups. And as a result, it took us two to three weeks to generate insights. With DDOM, we are able to operate and run the business with real-time insights. The key tenets of DDOM include commonality of data, consistent measurement, actionable insights, and data governance. It's powered by a unified data architecture that stitches together customer experience, product, and ERP data. Having that holistic view of the customer is key to improving their experiences. So when your CIO comes to talk to you about data architectures, don't run away. It's valuable in improving the customer journey. And we're not that scary. <laughs> no, I don't think it's scary at all. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about transformation. Intuit has had a journey also. You've shifted from desktop business to a cloud-based SaaS provider, platform provider. Yep. Uh, can you talk a little bit about your strategies for you know, delivering engaging customer experiences? Sure. Well, first, th Cynthia, thanks so much for including Intuit in this awesome event with all these great people. Um, you know, Intuit, um, for 36 years, uh, has been customer obsessed, uh, helping consumers, small businesses, self-employed, prosper with our products like QuickBooks, Mint, TurboTax. And for those of you in the US, if you haven't done your taxes yet, remember there's help for that. Uh, hopefully, we can help you do that quickly and easily. Uh, but like, like you said, like Adobe, we've been on a transformation journey, going from a desktop software company to online, and now to our latest chapter of being an AI ML-driven company. And to use AI ML for the sake of customers, you have to have great data. Uh, and so it really does start with data. Uh, and so we've been on that transformation journey just like um, Adobe, and IT has played a major part of that transformation, laying down the right infrastructure, laying down the right data pipes, and really pro making sure all of our employees had the right tools uh, to provide those insights uh, and to provide better experiences for customers, and ultimately, the right data. It all comes back to data. It all comes back to data. So um, can you talk a little bit about how you've approached building your data infrastructure, you know, the applications, how you kind of view that. 
you know, can we share with all of our friends here? Sure, sure. You know, as I said earlier, we're a customer-obsessed company, so famously so that we started out doing something called Follow Me Homes, where we would actually go into customer environments and watched how they used our products and looked at the challenges and to provide better insights. But in today's modern era and at our scale, that's not enough. We actually still do that. Every employee at Intuit spends time with customers. And in IT, we actually go and spend time with our workforce globally to understand how they operate. We do that by observing. But to do that at scale, you need to do that with instrumentation and with data. And so that really requires putting in holistic data architectures, data models, agreements on what data means, uh, and being able to do that at scale. And one of the insights we've recently had is you need to monitor your data pipelines just like you monitor your offerings. You know, if you have a P1 incident with an offering, bells go off, everybody comes right. running. It's the same way with data. If data isn't delivered in a clean way to the right team at the right time, that needs to set off alarms and you need to treat it just like a product incident. And so that's one of the things we've done is put those kinds of uh, instrumentation in. And then also making sure that we really democratize the data and make it available to all employees so they can provide better insights, ultimately to provide better experiences for customers with speed. Yeah, those are, those are absolutely great points. You know, monitoring the, the data, very, very key, and then opening it up. So can we talk a little bit more about acceleration? Business transformation doesn't happen without the CIO. We've got that big data experience, the flow that you just talked about. We've got the view of the enterprise across, but we can't do it alone, right? We just can't do it alone. I'd like to understand a little bit about how you develop partnerships, both inside and out of the company, and how you use these partnerships to transform your, your company's uh, business. Sure. Well, I, I think being the CIO is one of the funnest jobs. Uh, it is. Because I really view the CIO role as a, a three-way partnership with multiple partners. Uh, it's really a three-way between the CIO and the chief customer success officer and external partners to deliver great experiences, or between the CIO and the CFO to run the financials, or quite importantly, between and growingly importantly, between the CIO and the CMO. You know, one of the most sophisticated set of users of data in any company are the marketers. And I actually think companies have a lot to learn from their marketers about how to look at data. And so that relationship between the CMO and the CIO to ensure clean data is delivered to marketers with the right infrastructure and the right tools to provide those insights is really important. Another important role with all of that is the chief data officer. Uh, increasingly, companies are creating that role of a chief data officer. We recently did too. And it helps to have people really thinking 7 by 24 by 365.25 about data. Uh, and having that partnership is really important. And so really to kind of create that set of infrastructure to dedupe data, to remove the silos, and bring all that together, you need that focus and attention on it. And again, it's all about creating that client-based view uh, with speed. That's great. That's absolutely great. So building on that acceleration a theme, you know, the speed of IT has to be much different in this digital era. I mean, we've talked about that. And I know you've done a lot of work in that area with your organization. So how do you look at increasing the velocity, you know, the speed of IT, the delivery of solutions? And have you seen this impact the culture of your organization? Uh, absolutely. You know, the, the pace of innovation is going faster and faster. Uh, and IT really needs to run at the speed of the business. And it's important, one of the big shifts we made is having our metrics be business metrics not just IT metrics. So it's not about just having SLAs and uptime. It's about having true business outcomes, whether it's number of calls that we get around a billing situation or it's revenue or GNS or any of those kinds of business metrics. Right. We have to use those as well in IT. But it's also important that we continue to bring in new technologies to do things like for us, in our case, better understand receipts and tax forms and have you know, conversational user experiences because the GUI is beginning to go away now for the conversational and to broadly think differently about how we operate. Instead of operating in our silos, to work horizontally in mission-based teams, really breaking down the old organizational structures. So the way we've organized IT at Intuit is we have teams dedicated to partner with finance, with marketing, with customer success, and those really are their technology teams really focused on delivering those business outcomes. So it's really all about thinking horizontally and moving fast. That's great. That's absolutely great. 
So a combination of technology, partnerships, and collaboration are really the ingredients for successful business transformation. I have to thank you again, Atticus, for joining us and for your great insights. This conversation really underscores how digital transformation is a CIO imperative. Thank you again. Thank you.